Okay, so first of all, type in the number 65, and then while holding down control, click and drag until you get to the number 90. Then go back up to the top and type in equals C-H-A-R, which stands for character. And this will turn a number into a character. And the number for the letter A is 65. Then if we drag this all the way down, it will create the alphabet for us. Then we can right click and copy this and then right click and paste as values. And this will turn all of these formulas into values. So we no longer need these numbers here. Now, if we select all of this list and copy it and then go to a blank Word document and right click and paste as text only, then click and drag to select all of this again and copy it because we need a plain text version of this list. Go back to Excel and go to Home and sort and filter and custom sort then in the order section open up the drop down list and go to custom list then in the list entries paste in the alphabetical list that we just copied at the bottom here we need to do one backspace in order to get rid of the extra line and then add this list to the list of custom lists. Now, the days of the week and the months are included by default in Excel, but we can add other lists to this. Then OK and OK again. And now if we type in the letter A, we can click and drag to fill in the rest of the alphabet. This will also work if you drag to the side and it works with lowercase letters as well. Also, you don't need to start at the beginning of the alphabet. You can start anywhere in the alphabet and it will drag down. And if you pass the end of the alphabet, it will just restart again. Also, if you drag upwards, it will do the reverse of the alphabet, which is also what it will do if you drag to the left. Now, if you want to be able to just copy a letter, you now need to hold down control while clicking and dragging to get lots of copies of it. And this will work in any of your Excel spreadsheets, so long as you are working on the same computer. Now, I don't know why Excel doesn't include this by default, because you can sort alphabetically. But anyway, in this video, I have shown you how to click and drag in order to fill in the alphabet in Excel. And that is everything.